Toyota have to do to get you interested in buying an Auris? Make it better to drive? Give it a sharper sense of style? Include a wider choice of more efficient engines? All that's been done with this much improved second generation model. A more confident focus class family hatch that's good value, British built and uniquely available in this segment with hybrid power. If you're shopping in this sector, you might not be considering it, but perhaps you should be. You don't buy an Auris if you're seeking a really dynamic driving experience from a family hatchback of this kind, but in second generation form, this car has proved to be a big improvement on its unexceptional predecessor. This revised Mark II model makes another step forward in this regard, courtesy of a package of changes primarily aimed at enhancing comfort and day-to-day -day ease of use. It's now quieter and offers sharper steering. The car rides a little better too, though the extent to which you'll feel that really depends on the engine variant that you choose. The two oldest Auris power plants, the 99 brake horsepower 1.33 litre VBTI petrol unit and the 90 brake horsepower 1.4 litre D4D diesel must be satisfied with a rudimentary torsion bar rear suspension setup. That's replaced by the more sophisticated double wishbone arrangement you get with the engines offered further up the range. These include a freshly developed 112 brake horsepower 1.6 litre D4D diesel capable of 67.3 miles per gallon and 100 8 grams per kilometre of CO2. And another power plant new to the model lineup, a 116 brake horsepower 1.2 litre petrol turbo unit that offers perky performance, making 62 miles an hour from rest in 10.1 seconds en route to 124 miles an hour. And that's the variant that I'm trying here. At the top of the lineup, as before, there's the option of a 1.8 litre petrol electric hybrid version that delivers 78.5 miles per gallon and 81 grams per kilometre in a model that can travel up to a mile on pure electric power alone. The original design of this second generation Aris model was a lot slicker than its predecessor, incorporating what Toyota calls its keen look, all sharp angles and smart rakish lines. And that more purposeful, lower-slung styling has been further developed with this revised Mark II model, which features redesigned front and rear sections that aim to give the car a broader stance and what the Japanese brand hopes will be a more prestigious and sophisticated presence. Time to take a seat at the wheel. Look around and you'll see that the cheap silver paint finishes have been replaced by real chrome. There's a classy piano black finish for these prominent door pulls. And the more curvaceous dashboard gets a smoother, soft touch surface. And this smart stitched trimming. Uh, let's move to the rear seat. Now, Toyota remains proud of the fact that this is still one of the most compact cars in the family hatchback class, although you might not think this to be a particularly good thing if you have a family of five to carry about. Fortunately, some very clever design has ensured that you don't notice the compact dimensions. Take the sloping rear roof height, for example, disguised here by the way that the ceiling gently bulges over your head. Oh. And out back does the relatively compact shape compromise boot space? Well, not really. There's quite a high loading lip, uh, but the wider tailgate opening introduced with the original version of this second generation model is welcome. And beyond it, there's the capacity to swallow up to 435 litres if you load up to the roof, which is pretty good by class standards and far more than you get from, say, a rival Ford Focus. If you're the kind of person who brings uncompromising reason to the purchase decision when it comes to getting yourself a new family hatchback, then you'll bond with this Auris right away. Optimal drive technology, hybrid power, low servicing costs, decent residuals, it'll all be music to your ears. What's changed here, though, is that in this improved second generation form, this car now offers a lot more than that. You simply don't expect it to be as sharp looking, as accomplished to drive and as value orientated as it is now. Plus the introduction of 1.2 litre petrol turbo power and the 1.6 litre D4D diesel engine mean that at last this car is a fully competitive prospect if either you don't want hybrid power or you can't quite stretch to it. 
The petrol electric option is worth trying, though, and it remains unique in this segment. Finally, then, a family hatchback with a Toyota badge that's class competitive in almost every way. It's been a long time coming. <laughs>